up, you guys? It's your boy, Jay Mendoza. Welcome back to Envy Radio, presented by Rocket Mortgage, where we highlight Latinos making a mark in the city. Today, we are in beautiful Venice, California. We're with one of my homies who's a muralist. You can find his art literally anywhere, and he's worked with every sports team. My man, Gustavo <laughs> Zermeno Jr. What's I'm up, good, man? Oh my God, chillin', chillin'. Hey, what where are it? we, though? Tell them, um, tell them where we're at. Venice, man, hey, right in the heart, man. In the we're about to stop at uh, one of my favorite spots growing up, Hoagies. Hey, Hoagies is one of my favorite spots. Uh, so I know right. if I could, I'd get a Hoagie right now. But take us back, man. How did art even start? Like, where, when was it when you said, I'm just going to start drawing and painting? Well, drawing, man, my whole life. My whole life, I, I've been drawing. Um, painting, uh, I'd say high school is when I really got into it. I had a, a teacher that kind of forced us to try different mediums, and uh, I just fell in love with painting, man. Yeah, I know yeah. you never left Venice. <laughs> so tell me the importance of Venice to you. I mean, man, it, it just runs through my veins, man. Uh, you know, I not only did I grow up out here, um, all my friends are from out here. I, I think it was just something that so many people from around the world come to Venice just yeah. because of its, like, uniqueness, man. There's so much art culture here, and I think the best part about it is, like, it's a melting pot, man. Yeah. There's people from all walks of life. Growing up, it was it was more than home. It was, it was one of my biggest inspirations, honestly. All right, Gustavo. We're walking up to the first mural you ever <laughs> painted, man. Like, yep, yep. tell me the experience of painting this. Like, I've been coming to Hoagies forever, so um, and I, I basically just asked, like, hey, can I can I paint the wall in the back? A big part of my art is including a lot of like palm trees, sunset, things like that, because yeah. I feel like that kind of. That's that LA vibe, man. Like, who yeah. doesn't like a nice sunset, some dope yeah. palm trees? So, um, you know, I, I wanted to just have something vibrant that would catch people's eyes. Out here, I was really inspired by like a lot of the Chicano culture. I think that's the stuff that really kind of inspired me, seeing those old school murals. So we're in Venice. I know it's driven by many murals all around <laughs> the city. And I know you work with the Dodgers, the Lakers, the Los Angeles Rams. So let's show the people all different murals that are around the city. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's right. So we're at the graffiti walls, yeah. <laughs> right here down at Venice Beach. And this is where I used to skateboard and uh, a bunch of the, the graffiti guys used to be out there, you know, hitting up. I think it's more of like a nostalgic type thing for me. Um, you know, I was drawing and stuff back then, but not necessarily painting. But, yeah. you know, of course, all that kind of contributed to my, my love for uh, just art. So I know you've been around art and I know muralism is huge for you, but obviously you have two specific things that you love, which mm -hmm. is heritage and sports. Yep, so where'd yep. that come from? Um, just, just my passion, man. Uh, you know, both my parents were born in Mexico, so growing up, they, they always wanted to instill that, that culture in yeah. me. And as I got older, I started appreciating that stuff a lot more. Yeah. You know, it, it's one thing to, to have it in the house, but, you know, I think seeing other people going through the same experiences as me. You know, I'm first generation, um, you know, out here. So yeah. um, I, I feel like it's important for me to pass it on to my kid. So I know both of us, we grew up Dodger fans, Lakers yeah, fans, yeah. Rams fans. How does it feel to now create murals that go viral based on our LA teams? Uh, it's dope, man. Again, man, it, it's something that I'm like legit passionate about, yeah. you know, like before I started working with these guys, it, it, like I was doing it on my own. So I think anything with that intensity behind it, and yeah. of course my energy, my passion behind it, it it's just bound to kind of to catch eyes. And uh, you know, to be honest, man, sometimes it feels surreal. You know, yeah. like um, one of the projects I did was the canvas was a hundred feet by a hundred feet, easily my biggest project yeah. to date. And um, you know, I'm just standing there looking at it while we're painting. Like while I'm painting, it's different. Yeah. Like. I'm just in the in a different mode during the process, but after seeing all the videos and the content created Which from was it, Aaron Donald, right? Well, Aaron Donald, yeah, yeah. with the uh, with the Watts Rams. Okay. It's just crazy, man. It's yeah. surreal, man. It doesn't feel real. I know, um, I know when I see your murals, I'm like, yo, that's my friend. That's my friend. Because <laughs> I know funny. you also did the Cooper Cup one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Which was made with a bunch of recyclable. Cups, yeah, right? uh, so we teamed up with, uh, well, of course, with the Rams and uh, Ball. It was kind of to highlight the sustainability and, you know, just recycling and, yeah. and for a better future, man. I, you know, one of the goals is to, to leave this planet better than how we found it. So, um, you know, if I can contribute in any way, uh, I'm down. So we're here at another mural of yours. You got to explain the story how this happened. <laughs> Um, so I was actually coming to work one day and uh, I see a bunch of people on the boardwalk. I'm like, what's going on? And then I hear the Red Hot Chili Pepper music. I'm like, that's Red Hot Chili Pepper. So I look 
on the roof of this building <laughs> and I see Flea, Anthony Kiedis, all the guys up there playing. When this opportunity came up, yeah. um, they had a blank space right here. Uh, I went to one of the people that owned uh, the, the actual lot or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, they let me paint it. <laughs> yeah, you so blessed them with the mural. At this point, you're known for your murals. You're a part yeah. of LA. How does that make you feel? Like they just know this is your murals. Or when, it, when you see your murals, people know it's you. Yeah, I, honestly, that, I think that's one of the craziest things. Like, I, when I first started painting, I didn't realize I had a style yeah. until I'd be like midway through a painting. I'd start getting DMs like, oh, I see you're working on this. I'd be like, how'd you know? Like, yeah. what, what? You know, so it's a trip, man. I, I mean, again, man, I'm just grateful and it, it's a blessing, man, yeah. to, to be able to do what I love and, and you know, you know, get support from not only my community, but worldwide stuff, man. So if you guys want to see any of his art, all you got to do is come to Venice, California, and you'll find some wall with one of his murals. Gustavo, yeah. it was a pleasure having you. Yeah, Thank you. Likewise, my guy. It's my boy Gustavo, Jay Mendoza, and that's it. Peace. Peace.